how to be positive. My top three things. I'm so excited to share them with you. Being positive is just such a good thing to be. Life's already hard enough. We already have ups and downs in life and have the bad days and bad things happen and life's already hard. It helps to learn how to be a positive person. It's something you can learn. You're not necessarily born positive and born negative. It's skills that you can develop just like anything. And I want to share with you today the top three things in my life that has helped me be a more positive person. Starting with number three. So important, so good, so beneficial in so many ways is to be grateful. Gratitude is second only to love. It is one of the most powerful forces in the universe. And by being grateful, you are, first of all, you're, you're being thankful for what you've got. So you list, you know, you make a list every day. I'm grateful for this. I'm so happy and grateful for that. I'm deeply grateful for this. I'm so grateful I met this person and then this happened. And list your things of gratitude and because so often in our minds, we're like, I don't have enough of this. I wish I didn't have that. I want more of this. We're constantly, wishing we had things we didn't or having you know resenting things that we do have that we don't want and that's why why use your you know why use your time and your energy going through all those negative things like sure it's going to come up every now and then but every time you think of something you don't have be grateful for three things that you do have every time something bad happens be grateful for three good things that have happened as well just just tip the scales in the other direction so that the gratitude you have is bursting out of you and you constantly can find things. You know, I'd, I'd suggest if you're really down, write a list of a hundred things that, that you're grateful for. Count all your blessings. There's so many and there's so many you probably haven't been grateful for yet. Take some time to be grateful for them and just to say, whoa, my life is actually pretty good. I am pretty lucky, you know. I'm, there's, you can overflow with things to be grateful for. So your job is simply to, you know, let's say you, let's say you have ten thousand thoughts a day, right? And maybe only thirty percent of them, or even ten percent of them, are things you're grateful for. Your job is to increase that number as much as possible. To gratitude and the things you're grateful for is one of the most prominent things that, you know, one of the most prominent thoughts that comes into your mind throughout the day. I'm so grateful for this, I'm so grateful for that. As soon as something bad happens, what's the thing I can be grateful for here? Use gratitude, have an attitude of gratitude. Yeah. Number two. You gotta own who you are. You're never gonna be happy if you are constantly trying to do things to please other people, to impress other people, if you're sacrificing who you truly are to make other people happy. That's just not gonna make you happy. You gotta be straight up who you are. This is what I like. This is what I don't like. This is what I'm willing to accept. This is not what I'm willing to accept. And be truthful and be honest to yourself too. Just be straight up. You are who you are. Own it, love yourself, and don't let your fear of other people's judgment of you stop you from being who you truly want to be. Because the day that you realize that the people who love you are going to love you no matter who you are, the people that you realize that is a very powerful day. And if you're not being yourself so that other people can like you, well, they don't even know the real you anyway. So it's like this it's this you know connection built on this lie i know myself i used to always try to people please and you know just be someone who i wasn't so i could fit into this group or be friends with that person and as soon as i started being straight up and just this is who i am a compassionate person I'm a loving person i always used to think that was like weak and soft and man like i used to have all these think feelings about the way i truly wanted to feel now I'm straight up honest. This is what I believe in. This is what I think is important. This is what's important to me. This is how I feel about that. This is how I feel about that. I'm straight up. 
And it's so liberating to know that it doesn't matter what other people think of you. All that matters is what you think of yourself. And don't be afraid to be you because there's so much power in being confident. And that confidence comes when you acknowledge who you truly are and you put that out there to the world. There's only one of you. You're unique. Don't try to be someone else. Don't lie about who you are. Who you are is a special thing. So shine bright and be you. Number one, this is huge. This is something that took me years to get onto. And I'm so glad I did because it's, it's been one of the most, it's possibly been the most life-changing thing when it comes to me feeling positive. We talk to ourselves so negatively. We're our own worst enemies a lot of the time. We always tell us like, oh, why'd you do that? You could have done this better. Oh, you're being so this, you're being like, you're being lazy, you're being, that was, we give ourselves such a hard time. And why? Imagine if your friend, you know, they made a mistake. You wouldn't beat them down and say, you idiot, why did you do that? You'd be like, man, don't worry about it. Oi, we all make mistakes. You know what? And you'll learn from this. And next time you'll do better. And hey, you're a good person. And we all love you, man. We all make mistakes. That's how you learn. That's what you'd say to your friend. When you say it to yourself, you're like, oh, you idiot. Why did you do that? We're so mean to ourselves, man. And why? You, you hear your own voice more than anyone else's. You know, you hear that voice in your mind all the time. Rule number one, step number one. Number one best thing you can do to be positive, talk kindly to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Talk to yourself like you're your own best friend. Talk to yourself the way you would talk to someone you love, someone that you care about. You know, to help, to help someone else, you be encouraging, supportive, loving, kind. Talk to yourself that way, you know? Hey, you're doing a really good job, you know, and you're learning every day and look how far you've come and yeah, you made a mistake, but it's okay. It's part of your journey and just keep going, mate. Like talk to yourself with love, with compassion. No need to be so harsh on yourself. Life is short. It's very short. It goes quick, you know, and you're going to be inside this body the whole time with this mind the whole time. Don't let your mind be your enemy. As soon as you realize that you're starting to talk negative to yourself, flip it, switch it up. Say, hey, sorry, I was being a little harsh there. You know what? We all make mistakes and you're going to learn from this and this is a positive thing because of this, that and whatever. Be kind to yourself, be loving, be compassionate. Talk kindly. So they're my top three tips on how to be positive. Number three, be grateful. Number two, be yourself. And number one, be your own best friend. That doesn't mean that you're always gonna feel good. That's not what being positive is about. Being positive is about shining light on darkness. It's about focusing your attention on the good rather than the bad. But it's not a sure way to always feel good. In fact, there's no sure way to always feel good. It just can't happen. But it's not about always feeling good. That's not what life is about, you know? All of our emotions, positive, negative, the good times, the bad times, they're all part of the journey. They're all here to teach us something. We can learn from every single one of them. Being positive is just a really great tool to help you navigate through life in a more comfortable way, in a more positive way that can help you, that can help others by shining light on their darkness as well. And we can just, in general, lift the good vibes of this world. Yes. If you've got any personal tips on how to be positive, then put them in the comments below and share the wisdom. We can all learn from each other. Thanks very much for watching. And if there's any other vids you want me to do, just let me know. The attractive force of gratitude and being grateful will bring more into your life of what you want. There's always something good that comes out of something negative, but you can always find something. And that's your job to remember to search for it. And remember, when you're feeling better, you can help other people feel better too.